Welcome. What I want to do is kind of go through a video of what is the measure of a radian. So first of all, let's go back and remember what a radian is. So if I'm going to go and draw a circle, remember a circle is a, uh, is a pretty much a set of points around a fixed point, which is in the center, all right, equidistance from our um, center point. Now remember, on a circle, we have the point, or the equidistance from our center to all of our points is what we call our radius, all right? Now, what a radian is, is if we were to take this radius, and I was about to wrap it around the circle, so instead of it being a straight line, if I kind of made it now a little arc, you can see I could wrap it around my circle. And how far it wraps around my um, circle, or what we call our arc length, we can call our radian, all right? Now, what we're going to do is pretend, remember when we were talking about angles, an angle is a rotation of rays about a fixed point, which is our vertex. When that vertex is the center of your circle, we call what we have a central angle, all right? So if I was going to take my, let's say there's two lines here, and if I was going to rotate this line out to this angle, what I now do is I now create an angle, and I'm going to use the angle theta, all right? So when we rotate two rays, the distance of the radius about the arc length, or we could say the distance of a radian on the arc length, what we call that is one radian. So my angle theta is equal to one radian. If I want to find two radians, all right, well, if here's one radian, we could say two radians, I don't know, it's going to be roughly, roughly like there. So two radians, I would just rotate my angle a little bit farther, and I'd get to this point, which now would be two radians. Or we could say that from here to here, theta equals two radians, all right? Then it gets nice and tricky when we get to here. That's going to be three radians. So if my angle went all the way, if I rotated my arrow all the way to here, I would have three radians. So that means the measure of this angle, the angle the measure of the rotation of my two rays. So it's the length all along the arc length is what we call our radian. But the measure of our angle, we call that, we call that your radian as well. And that's just going to be the measure of your rotation between those two rays. Now, you notice that it almost takes us three radians to get halfway around a circle, but we're not there. If I was going to say four radians, I would roughly be about here, right? So where is it between three and four? And I know my picture kind of looks a little distorted because actually three radians should probably be like right around here. But what you'll notice is that this distance right here that's missing is actually 0.14159 repeating, or what we like to call pi. So Halfway around a circle is pi radians. It means it takes 3.14159 dot 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 radians to go halfway around a circle. So that exactly is what your measure of a radian is. I hope that helped. Thanks.